Welcome everybody to my first episode of The Honeycomb, a series where I pick out amazing honeybees who show great creative potential. I'm your host, Queen Bee, and I'm here today to show you amazing creatives who deserve more recognition. So, let's get on with it. Number one on our list is Joltira. I hope I'm saying that right. Um, that is her Instagram app. I'll link it down below somewhere and in the description along with anything else uh, that pertains to her. So, Deltira wanted me to say that she loves furries. She is super into comics and she actually has a comic in development right now. She told me that the first post for these com uh, this comic will be going up next month. She also has a Kofi, and the link is in her description on her Instagram, so link in bio for her, um, where you can donate so she can afford a better drawing program to be able to draw said comic. Also, with every donation, she offers a free custom phone wallpaper, so I would suppose of any character you'd love drawing. But anyway, I'm going to show a few of her artworks over here by the side just to show you guys just how amazing her art is. She's recently done a few Inktobers. Actually, I think she's participated in the entirety of Inktober, which is something I could never do. I always give up way too uh, early. Um, and they look absolutely stunning. Like, girl, you get it. Because I could never produce so many artworks in so little time and have them look so nice consecutively. But along with just looking nice, they look adorable. Some have a creepy or cute aspect, and some have a more realistic look to them. But overall, her whole style is just absolutely beautiful. So you guys should really go check her out. Again, I'll have the link in the description for every artist I talk about in this video. Number two on our list is Sleep Slugs. Sleep Slugs has an absolutely adorable, like to die for, adorable art style. I can't get over how cute it is. And honestly, I don't even know how they don't have more followers than what they do. Currently, they're only at 580 followers. Can you guys believe that? Only 580? Like, look at this stuff. Look at what they make. Check out Sleep Slugs. They're in the description. Number three on our list is Roasted Romeo. Roasted Romeo only has three artworks posted on their Instagram at the current moment. And they only have about 80 some followers, which I find so hard to believe because it's so cute. I, I pick a lot of cute art styles and I promise I'll pick other things. But I wanted to start this episode out really cute and heckin' awesome for you guys because who doesn't like cute things? Like, so, anyway, back to her. Um, she has some really cute art. She did some fan art for Blake Rosie, which I'll put over here. And she just does some, like, really cute, bubbly, aesthetic things. Like, they look really nice. I could look at these artworks all day long, and I'd never get tired of them. So you guys should definitely go check them out as well. Again, link in description. Number four on our list is Puffetti. Puffetti does some super, super nice looking artworks. They're really clean, they're super bubbly, they have a lot of style and a ton of personality to them. Like, if you guys didn't go check them out, what are you doing? What are you doing with your lives? Like, yeah, finish this video because I want you guys to see just how cool and amazing these artists are. But please, look at this person's artwork. Like, look, look at that, guys. Look at that. It looks so good. And not only do they draw furry artwork, but they also draw, like, anime-style artwork. And they look stunning just as amazing as their furry artworks. Please go check out Puffetti. Also, I'll put their at in the description. 
Most of these are on Instagram in case anybody was wondering. So yeah, go check them out. Next on our list is Minty Momo. Minty Momo makes some super, super cute pixel icons. Like, I cannot stress cute enough. You guys seriously need to look at this. Like, look at that. It looks so good. Like, I want to commission one right now, but I think their commissions are closed right now. But, that being said, their art style is very adorable. They do not only furries again, but humans as well. And every single one of them looks flawless. Pixel art's not the only thing they do, though. They also do chibi style art and a few other things. So if you guys check out Instagram, link in the bio, and I'll put it down here so you guys can go check them out. And number six on our list is Olive and Honey. Olive and Honey makes some adorable artwork. Most of what's on their Instagram currently are sketches in a realistic slash cutesy style. They look absolutely amazing. They barely have any followers right now. Like, like this girl only has 76 followers. And that upsets me. You guys should definitely go check her out. Like, look how absolutely stunning this is. Like, these sketches are so flawless. They're free-flowing. They're like such a really pretty aesthetic like style. Like, I can't get over how nice this looks. Like, look at that. Look at that. Ah, I love it. But seriously, guys, please go check out every single one of these artists. All of their stuff's going to be in the description below. So please, please, please go check them out. They are amazing people. I've talked to pretty much all of them before the recording of this video. So, if you would, please go check them out. Um, if you guys want to be in a honeycomb video, which I'm going to try to post these every two weeks, if you want to be in a honeycomb episode, please drop your information below, Instagrams, whatever. Tell me about yourselves, maybe give a little information about what you'd like me to say. And please feel free to show me anything. I want to see artwork, or fursuits, or dance videos, or music, or anything really. I just want to see your talents. You guys, I want to see your talents. Because what you guys can do is super amazing. And I want to see just how amazing you guys are. And if you also want to show me your art skills in another way, please remember I have my fan art contest going, which I'll link up here or over here somewhere, or wherever it shows up on YouTube. And uh, with that, I'll see you guys later. Bye!